क्वेश्चन सिक्स सेज दैट ए बी सी इज अ राइट एंगल्ड ट्राइंगल एंड ओ इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द साइड ऑपोजिट टू द राइट एंगल सो ए बी सी इन दिस फिगर इज राइट एंगल्ड एट बी एंड दिस पॉइंट ओ इट इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए सी सो ओ ए इज इक्वल टू ओ सी सो ओ ए इज इक्वल टू ओ सी बिकॉज ओ इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए सी एंड देन द क्वेश्चन सेज एक्सप्लेन Why O is equidistant from A, B, and C? So the fact that O is equidistant from A and C that's obvious because O is the midpoint of AC. But we also have to prove that O is at the same distance from B as well. So basically, we have to prove that this distance OB is also equal to OA and OC. So we have to prove that OA is equal to OC is equal to OB. This is essentially what we have to. prove and then the question says the dotted lines are drawn additionally to help you so do you see these dotted lines ad od and cd so let me explain to you how these dotted lines have been drawn so let's first imagine the situation when these dotted lines were not present so the situation would have looked like this now what basically uh, the question has done is now what basically has been done is that from the point a a parallel has been drawn to bc and from the point c a parallel has been drawn to ba and this is how we get these dotted lines so from a we have drawn ad parallel to bc and from c we have drawn cd parallel to ba so this is how we get these dotted lines and these two Uh, rays meet at the point D, and then we have joined O and D to get this segment OD. Now let's talk about how this construction will help us prove this fact that OA and OC are both equal to OB. Now what this construction has done is that it has made given us this parallelogram ABCD, and why is that? Because we have drawn AD. parallel to bc and ab parallel to dc so both pairs of opposite sides in abcd are parallel to each other and this means that abcd is a parallelogram also one of the angles in abcd is 90 degrees this angle here the angle at b is 90 degrees and this means that all the other angles of abcd will also be 90 degrees so the fact that angle b is equal to 90 degrees ensures that all the angles of abcd will be 90 degrees so abcd will be a rectangle and now this is quite awesome because this helps us conclude this result quite easily and how is that well we observe that one of the diagonals of this rectangle abcd is AOC this side this segment AOC so AOC is one diagonal of the rectangle and what about the other diagonal so if we join the points B and D they they should also pass through the midpoint of AC because the diagonals of a uh, parallelogram they bisect each other so BD if we draw BD it should pass through the midpoint O of ac and this basically means that bod is a straight line so bod is a straight line and hence bod is the other diagonal of the rectangle so what we have basically concluded here is that aoc and bod they are the diagonals of the rectangle abcd now i want to make one important remark here the fact that bod is a straight line you cannot conclude it directly by looking at this figure because in this figure the way we drew this figure was we drew ad and then we drew cd and they intersected at d and then we joined od so this does not guarantee that ob and od they are in a straight line but the fact that the diagonals of a quadrilateral of a parallelogram bisect each other means that if we draw bd that should also pass through the midpoint of ac which is o and hence this means that bod is a straight line so bod becomes the other diagonal of abcd 
so aoc and bod are the two diagonals of the rectangle abcd and the interesting thing about any rectangle is that the diagonals in a rectangle are equal and this means that aoc must be equal to bod and the reason being that abcd is a rectangle and in uh, in any rectangle the diagonals are equal so aoc and bod are equal so their halves will also be equal so let's write this here so half of aoc will also be equal to half of bod so what is half of aoc well half of aoc will be either oa or oc so we can write both oa and oc and what is half of bod so half of bod bod is the other diagonal and o is the midpoint of bd as well so half of bod will be ob or od so we can write half of bod as either ob or od so from here we see that oa oc and ob are equal which basically means that the point o is equidistant from a b and c so that completes our proof for question number 6 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers